Are we now so inseparable from our computers that we have become them? Are they us? Are they extensions of our identities? Do we find ourselves existing more and more through technology, through computers, in computers? Our association with the machine, along with the aid of technological advancements in structural networks, has created an integrated structure, a connection that is now vital to our very existence. Cyberspace. Through cyberspace, our senses are stripped off from our body, creating a direct connection from our brain to a vast amount of data. Once connected to cyberspace, a user is free to roam the multi-layers of networks, connecting various points of data to other relevant information. Cyberspace is Platonism as a working product. The cybernaut seated before us, strapped into sensory input devices, appears to be, and is indeed, lost to this world. Suspended in computer space, the cybernaut leaves the prison of the body and emerges in a world of digital sensation. In this reality, a user's identity, as we know, is replaced by a form of diversified, fluid-like entity. The deconstruction of one's identity in cyberspace is as simple as a click away. The nature of this process is similar to what we experience in today's world, which is explained by Baudrillard's notion of hyperreality, derived from Jorge Luis Borges. The system that we live in today is merely a representation of the real, models of the real without any origin or reality, which then becomes the truth in its own right. In the study of linguistics, this concept is approached through the branch of semiotics. Ferdinand de Saussure explained that signs are divided into two components, signifier and signified. A word is constructed using letters. These letters are formed by lines to form a shape, which we call characters or alphabets. When these letters are rearranged, it forms a word, which still has no meaning to it. These signifiers, words that are formed using lines, have no connection to its meaning. When these words are connected to the human mind, a meaning is created, thus creating the signified. What we live in today is not so much as what the symbols are, but rather what the meanings are. A network of meanings that have been given to words. Meanings that are otherwise meaningless. This network of meanings is what we are living in, a representation of the truth. Through cyberspace, it is easier to understand that bits and bytes of data roam the empty space that is virtual, ever changing to be given meaning by a user. Through cyberspace, one can understand that we are nothing but symbols. These symbols are merely metadata, computational symbols that floats in a vacuum. Through cyberspace, one can understand that the sensations that we feel through sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste are all arbitrary. Through cyberspace, one can understand that existence is virtual, created by the user only to satisfy oneself. Through cyberspace, one can fully detach from the real world. Although my final thesis project will be in the form of an interactive installation, I have yet to decide its final form. This is an example of a code I developed through processing, which would be part of my interactive installation. A camera device captures an image in real time. The program then acquires and evaluates the brightness values of each pixel. It then compares the value to the adjacent pixels. It then uses the data to calculate positions on the z-axis, giving a third dimension to the two-dimensional captured image. 
Then it draws a number based on the positions of points on the z-axis. This is my max jitter patch that experiments on the deconstruction of text. Firstly, a user inputs the text to the patch. The patch then iterates through the text and then sends each word into 26 separate arrays alphabetically and draws each word at a random position on screen. As the user presses an ASCII code on the keyboard, a random word is chosen from that keys array and a line is drawn to connect the previous word to the next. A web structure is then created based on the user's input. The text that is reconstructed appears on a new window using the same words but with a new user-generated structure. My name is Muhammad Hafiz. Thank you for your time.